What's up guys, here's Cloud from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to enable AMP accelerated mobile page to our WordPress website for free into a fast and effective method, okay? But before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. I have no idea how much it helps us because I bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations and many many more topics in our tools, internet and our sites favor. So let's get this started. Very first thing to do is understand what is AMP. AMP Previous no Ad Accelerated Mobile Pages is an open source HMM framework that helps to create fast loading mobile optimized web pages. Okay, so basically here is the difference. Okay, the Sam Hush made a very good difference post. AMP is a simpler version of your mobile page that loads faster into mobile especially the ones with better connection with bad connections for example 3G okay or hard to load connections so it cuts the CSS code some image some backgrounds and just focus into content okay it's essentially a good way for reading news okay so how to do this of course Google loves it because it loads faster in fact AMP was created by Google okay so how to enable this? Go to your WordPress dashboard, review the left side bar of menus, hover mouse over plugins and click on add new. Into the upper right corner next to the keyword field into the search plugins we're gonna type AMP. And this is the guide that we're gonna be installing. Install now. AMP project troubleshooters. okay? So click on install. After this click into the activate button. You're gonna be redirected to the plugins list, a list where you can see all of the present plugins on your site. But there is a new message into the top of your WordPress dashboard called Welcome to AMP for WordPress. Click into this button, open the onboarding wizard. First of all, we have some information right here, the welcome message. Let's click into the next. Now we have the technical background, developer or technical survey or non-technical or wanting to simpler setup. I'm going to select this one to make it simpler. Okay. Wait a minute. So the AMP is going to be scanning the URLs of your site. Okay. It can take some moment according to the amount of content that you have on your site. If your site have something like 70, 80 pages, it's gonna take longer, but no need to worry, just wait. Teams, it's... So we have a couple of messages right here, okay, so the scan is complete. Nothing to worry right here, you can just move to next. And we can install the reader, okay. We have transitional or started. So we have a couple of options and a couple of explanations of each one. Of course, you can choose the best one for you. The reader is the recommended one because it works like into this page, but others have other capabilities. You can click right here into this arrow to understand every single one. Once it's a test ambient, you can select reader. Move to next. You can select some theme to make it more comfortable in the case that you prefer. So there is some options. It's a quite limited and this theme will only work into the mobile. So the theme or template for mobile visitors, it's up to you. Maybe the um, this one let's go to next so your reader system is automatically installed now we can customize in the case that you want okay so we're gonna move to wordpress dashboard appearance and customize and right here we're gonna be able to edit the mobile version of our site okay only the mobile version of our site so the site identity all of that is this right here it's for the mobile version of our site we have some colors to play with the menus, some e-commerce settings, 
and additional CSS in the case that you need, but I really don't recommend. After this change is made, you can publish the page and you are good to go. They're gonna scan your site again. And it is, your site now, it's an AMP compatible, okay? So, we have some recommendations, we can change this in the way that I want. We have some support templates, okay, in the case that I want to enable the AMP for some custom post types, for example, imagine that you do not want to enable AMP for your products because of some product description, the code's needs, okay, so you're gonna not mark the product right here. You only want the AMP for your posts, so enable this only for your posts. We have some options for plugin suppression, in the case that you do not want some plugin to work into these pages or sections. If you remove some, some plugin off the section, of course, the plugin will not work, but you will have a faster page. We have some analytics. You can click right here to apply some, in the case that you want, okay, some event. We have the sandbox experiments, the URL, and the other options. Enable developer tools. Redirect mobile visitors to AMP. This is the most important thing. After this, you can click into the save chains. If you review the desktop version of your site, will not be changed by any means, okay? So no, nothing to worry right here. All you have to worry about is the version of your site into mobile, okay? And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case you don't have any question. Don't forget to check out the visualmodel.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes or borderless plugin to gain widgets, elements, templates, and tools to build up your site layout design. And our Enzo WordPress team, the best free WordPress team that you can install on your site. And it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you tomorrow. All the best.